Hi everyone, this is Steve with FuelIt.com and today we wanted to show you how to remove the ring for the LPFP on the F-Series cars. So to begin with, uh, just like the E-Series, we'll remove the back seat and to do that you just simply pull straight up, unlock those two tabs and remove that seat. Slide that out. Now on the F-Series, the LPFP is located on the passenger side. So we'll go ahead and pull this cover up and then I like to use a toolbox to just hold things, hold this cover back out of the way. So I'll put that like that. Then there are five 10 millimeter plastic nuts that we need to remove. So we'll go ahead and remove those. And we can go ahead and remove the cover now. And then uh, disconnect the stock power. So you just push in on the tab up top, pull straight up. You got that disconnected there. And then on the stock fuel line, there's a clip, a safety clip on the front side of it. So you will actually take your fingers and just push the safety clip back, like so. And then there's a little button up front that you depress and then pull straight up like so. So that disconnects the fuel line. <laughs> All right, so for our ring tool for the F-Series, the F-Series is, is quite difficult to get off. There's a little re retention point that um, you have to get the ring past. And so in this case, we have the ring tool that locks in place, so this will lock in place here. And then we have the feet on the back that will also lock in place. And then, once we have it locked in place, we have the extension bar slides on so we can put the additional torque on it that we need. So that said, we'll go ahead and slide this into place. So we just slide it down, back, go ahead and put the rear feet in place. And then go ahead and Put the extension bar on and grab a hold and then turn counterclockwise and there we go. Okay, now that we've got the lock ring removed, we're going to want to let the pump assembly come up and this is kind of spring loaded so it's going to want to naturally lift up. And then what you'll find is that right here are the wires that go over to the float assembly that are on the driver's side of the car. You're going to have to remove those. So you push in on the little tab here, and then pull down, and it can be a little tight. So I'll get that pushed in good, and then pull down like so. So it's just a little, little clip there that gets pushed back. Okay, now that we have disconnected the driver's side float assembly, we need to disconnect the fuel line that goes to the Venturi over on the driver's side. And that is on the very bottom of the pump. And it's going to be difficult for you to see. You'll see more as we get it pulled out. So you need to pull the pump up, clear the filter, and then you can rotate the pump over, clear these fuel lines on the other side here. You got to get those up and out of the way there. There we go. Now that we've got those up out of the way, it's really hard to see in here. And if you just barely see down in here, that there's the fuel line that comes across right here. And we need to take and that rotate that 90 degrees so that it is pointing towards the trunk of the car. So we'll go ahead and rotate that. And you'll see what I mean as I pull it up and get a little better view of it. So you can go ahead and then pull the whole pump assembly up like so. You'll have to tilt it. And then just let it sit there and drain a little bit of fuel out. And now you can see the what I was talking about. And there's the driver's side Venturi line and where we have rotated it 90 degrees. The stock position is for it to be straight up. And then if we pull this pump, this float assembly up out of the way, you can see on the bottom side there, or what is the mouse to the side, there's a little quick release right here. So we have to slide this forward and then we have to apologize, this is a little awkward for me. Slide this forward like so, and then depress this little catch lever here. And I can manage both at the same time here, holding. 
Okay, so now we have, there we go. So now we've depressed that, and then this slides up. And here, right here are those wires that we had to disconnect for the driver's side float assembly. And as you'll see, they're connected to the um, driver's side uh, venturi feed. But now that we've done this, our float assembly is completely free, or our pump assembly, excuse me, is completely free and can now be removed from the car to be upgraded or what have you. Now that we have shown you how to remove the pump real quickly, we're just going to go over how to put the pump assembly back in. So you'll have to go ahead and rotate here and put the driver's side venturi back in. And then as I showed you before, here's the line that comes up for the driver's side float assembly. So that comes up and actually comes up in between these two fuel lines and then plugs back into that stock location there. Make sure that's all the way plugged in. Again, when you go to put this back in place, make sure that this is rotated 90 degrees or you won't get it past the lip of the tank. Let's go ahead and rotate that in. Whoops. Don't forget to put your float assembly down first. So otherwise we'll never get that in. So go ahead and rotate that in like so. Push that down. Make sure you get your fuel lines tucked in there. Just out of the way here. And push this down. Clear that fuel line. Clear this other fuel line. Okay, now we've cleared those. We can go ahead and push the entire fuel pump assembly down into place. So, now that we've got our pump in place, we'll go ahead and take our lock ring, put that in place here, like so. Kind of just push it down and rotate it just a little bit to hold it in place. Then go ahead and lock, put your fuel line back on. So push that on, lock it in place, push the little lock there. And now we'll grab our lock ring tool and we'll slide, the, again we'll slide the front on and then lock the back in place and then I'm going to go ahead and put our extension on and then the, we'll go ahead and rotate it now you'll see that there's a ridge here and this ridge here and this ridge need to line up so go ahead and do our rotation there and there now we've locked in place everything's lined up there Let's go ahead and take our extension off Go ahead and remove our lock ring tool. Again, that's a tight fit, so it's there you go. Go ahead and pop out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and make our electrical connection. Put our lid back on. Grab the five little plastic 10 millimeter nuts. Put those in place. Set everything aside here. We'll go ahead and lay this in place. And then, of course, the next thing we'll do is to grab our rear seat. We'll go ahead and slide the rear seat in here. So after you slide your, slide your seat back in place here, you'll notice that we have the seat belts hooked up. And we use the seat belts to pull the female receptacles up through the seat. So we got those hooked up, and then we can, we're able to pull that in place. So I'll make sure it's pushed all the way back. Push down in the center. You can hear it click. And that's it. You've now replaced the LPFP and managed to put everything back together. Thanks for watching. And that was the F-Series LPFP replacement from Fuelit.com.